What makes a player iconic enough to become the face of their game? Unreal, and that all starts Ortiz, with- in! Wait, he goes in for everything! Ortiz, give me that damn you Angus! It, I'm out of here, baby! Oh Unreal. my god! The definition of <laughs> Age of Steel! In most cases, it's a combination of skill, consistency, and accolades. That's it's gonna kill! Graham drops for me! That's is, a dear game. God! And the crowd let him know! That is a huge performance from Crimson. But no king rules alone. For every extraordinarily talented competitor out there, there is someone who captures the fans' hearts through other means. I forgot that I put it in there. Oh, it's Bolo now! <laughs> And while most of us probably think of Bolo when we hear Rainbow Six Siege, there is another player, an oddity simply known as Jinxie, writing himself into the history books in a very different sort of way. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're lost? Dollar Tree headset? He's using wall hacks on console! Hello? So how did being a console player help Jinxie get so popular? Will he ever attempt to go pro? And is this guy really the future of Siege? Okay, so before we get started, I just want to remind you all, we got merch. You can have a look at all the cool stuff we've got in our esports collection over at shop.thescore.com and pick up something nice for yourself or your friends. All right, so if you are an OG Rainbow Six Siege fan, Jinxie's existence might feel like a slap in the face to everything you think you know about the game. Unlike basically every other big Siege content creator, Jinxie plays using a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. But more importantly, that's because he plays on console. Yo, we're not gonna talk about the aim, but... We're not gonna talk about the aim, but... <laughs> He's got every variable in his favor right now. He is like the like poster child of Siege console. We don't have many of those. He actually like legitimately uses a controller and is very good. So people are like, okay, this guy like actually uses a controller. He plays console and he's actually really good kicking everyone's ass that's on mouse and keyboard. So like that's, that makes, that's a huge thing too. But despite being quite literally goaded on the sticks, Jinxie seems to have zero interest in going pro. Probably because unlike on stream, you can't really let it all hang out on land. Uh, let, let me see this. Let me see this thing. I can't remove one shot headshots. No. And the platform where he's making the biggest impact isn't Twitch or YouTube. It's the Zoomer Wonderland. TikTok. Wait a minute, boom shakalaka. 4v3, now my energy switches. I know everybody's focusing on me. Gotta get that camera off of me. They all know where I am, but it doesn't matter. Bang, that's the T-Hunt, and I hear one on the ladder. Make it a little bit too much. Here, Let's see. Okay, so why is any of this important? For as long as it's been an option, a debate has raged on about the merits of mouse and keyboard over controllers to play shooters. And Siege is no different. Now, a mouse and keyboard setup is traditionally considered superior because it allows for better aim and movement. And this is what you see most pros and content creators using. That, that arcade? That one bought? That the other one bought? But when it comes to the casual player base, the majority of them actually play on consoles. And since using a mouse and keyboard with your Xbox or PlayStation is in fact tantamount to cheating, most people play on controllers. I don't remember when I read this, and I'm pretty sure it still stays true, but like the PlayStation and Xbox community for Siege is far superior 
than PC. And of course, it's like, you know, the console guys are gonna want, want to watch PC. It's like, you know, it sees the high skill ceiling. It's like, everybody drives a car, but it's like, they're gonna watch F1 because they, you know, go fast. It's, there's more, more room for error and it's more entertaining. But as entertaining as it may be, attempting to emulate someone who's not even using the same tools as you is sort of like trying to teach someone how to play basketball using a tennis ball. All good and fine if you're already insane, just, probably not your ticket into the NBA if you're just starting out. I just wanna play football and go home. Console Siege is legitimately way more popular than PC Siege, but because the pro scene lives on PC, console players never really got represented in content creation. In fact, the first ever Siege Invitational was played on both PC and console. Then the scene got progressively more hardcore and moved towards PC, leaving the massive console player base in the lurch. And this is where Jinxie swooped in to save the day. Not only does he use a controller, like the majority of his audience, he's actually really good at it. Even better than the mouse and keyboard cheaters infecting his console lobbies. Uh. I am the one who knocks. Clever. Yeah! Slammed! Naturally, anyone watching Jinxie would begin to wonder if we might have a second controller-wielding coming of Bolo on our hands. In reality though, rather than Jinxie infiltrating esports, it's actually the other way around. Successful full-time content creators like Jinxie have helped lure the game's biggest star into an early retirement instead. One SI the scene isn't in that good of a spot. And now I'm kind of at like a crossroads. It's like, do I want to keep sacrificing my brand, my community that built me up and got me to this insane level that I'm at right now? Or do I keep kind of, I, I guess, staying with the sinking ship? And if we're talking about a community, this, my friends, is how we end up on TikTok. The platform has, unsurprisingly, taken over as the go-to for those looking to reach a generation of viewers who want their content served out in easily digestible, bite-sized portions. Which happens to be something that Jinxie has gotten down to a science. I mean, obviously it's been cracked out on TikTok completely, which I think was an avenue that a lot of us other content creators just kind of slept on. But I also think he really appeals to this, like, Zoomer culture. This is how an R6 champion prepares supper. I'm going to be competing in the 2026 World Cup. United States of America, you just got your new starting striker. 10 a.m., spring out of bed. Sadie, good morning. It's time for your walk. Oh, don't Johnson on the yard. But where did Jinxie even come from? Well, just a few short years ago, he was just your average Siege fan lurking in Twitch chat. But eventually, Jinxie saw something beyond the established status quo, an opportunity to connect with Siege players on their level by getting sweaty using the ultimate casual hardware, all while never taking himself too seriously. Wait, what the f just happened, man? Jinxie's hyper-casual, zero-filter, no-shits-given-about-the-pro-scene approach drew fans in by the thousands. He just has, like, a really good, funny energy about him, and it's like, he keeps it up for the whole stream, too. Like, he doesn't really have, like, downtime. Like, other people, it's like, they start off the stream strong, and they're, like, screaming and doing... He, like, keeps that up for, like, 12 hours. I don't know how he does it, but good for him, like... <laughs> And since social media is just one big pond, the waves he made over on TikTok sent ripples through more traditional content creation platforms as well. Ooh, I know that shit is ha ba 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 bubblegum pick. Ah! He lagged. He lagged. Ah! Now I know there's all this talk about siege dying and all that. But what we may be looking at actually isn't a death at all, but rather a rebirth. And since Jinxie is literally the most popular Siege content creator out there at the moment, well, everyone, I present to you 
the new face of Rainbow Six Siege. All right, all right. Jokes aside, Jinxie is actually an immensely important figure in the Siege scene right now. In no small part because he actively chooses to continue playing Siege his way each and every day. And his contributions are not lost on the rest of the Siege community. So Jinxie has like the most, of course, right now, like most popular Twitch stream for Siege. And he is for console in the most popular demographic. And, you know, he does very well at it and he stuck to it. A lot of the previous console streamers would, you know, oh, I'm waiting, you know, PC goal, $1,200 or whatever. And then right as they got to that marker, all right, back to PC because they just want to hop in the trend, right? Like they see the successful PC players, but they don't realize the untapped potential that there is console. So really good playing field for Jinxie. And he stuck to it when nobody else wanted to. And he, he's reaping the rewards. It's just good to see like someone with that personality kind of just like, being successful because like I used to have kind of like a type of person not to his like full extent but like to the, that personality so it's just good to see people like that thriving just being themselves and being comfortable being that self himself in that front of, front of that log audience so it's just like it's really good to see and I'm really happy for him. We all benefit from this we're not competing with each other we're uh, uh, co-workers right like and if he makes each do well it helps us do well as well. He specifically has drawn a lot of new viewers to the category and it's actually kind of funny he used to watch my streams a really long time ago when he had like 20 viewers and he would host me and watch my streams. He was always a super nice like kid even back then. I'm happy to see him doing well and hey it's helping Siege as a category too and couldn't ask for it to happen to a nicer person so. We can all agree that Jinxie is living breathing proof that walking the path less taken can lead you to the very top of the mountain. That it's possible to represent a game you love in your own unique way and still blow everyone else out of the water. That sometimes the future lies a little beyond the pale and that's perfectly okay. Do you honestly think you could defeat me in a 1v1 in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege? Well, tonight is your chance. We're going live. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.